we have an incredibly generous God. Generosity needs to be rooted in our culture. It's no good just coming up with a strategy. Everything we see with our eyes needs to encourage open-handedness. So, uh, first question, how do you approach giving and generosity as part of ministry? Well, for me, it's creating a cu the culture to promote the truth that giving and generosity are a big part of what it is to be a disciple of Jesus. I want our church to be a church that's valued for what it does and for what it is. So that's about making sure the church has a vision in place that people um, are drawn to support and they're drawn to give to sacrificially. Welcome to this introduction to our generosity and giving campaign with its open invitation for you to take part when you're able. We worship a truly generous God who's blessed us with an abundance. Giving and generosity should therefore be simply an everyday part of living out our faith as disciples of Jesus Christ. The aim of this campaign is simple. We want to help you to create a moment in the life of your church when you can focus on transforming giving in response to God's generosity to you. A time when you can inspire your congregations to think about what true Christian generosity could look like in your context. In this presentation, we want to tell you more about how we can resource and support you as you plan for a more secure financial future in this post-COVID world we're moving into. We appreciate each community has its own context. Every church has a range of calls on its finances. For all of us, COVID has devastated many of our regular sources of income. There have been no church fates less opportunities to pass the collection plate around in churches. At parish level, many PCs have needed to dip into their reserves where they have them. Others simply find themselves moving or firmly in the red. Together, we rely on generous giving across the diocese to fund most of our joint expenditure. Loss of income to the diocese in 2020, caused by coronavirus, led to the DBF taking on a loan of two and a half million to make sure it could pay its way. Even before the pandemic, significant operating deficits were incurred. To put things in context, we have one of the highest attendance and number of clergy per capita in the Church of England. But these percentages fall when it comes to giving. So there is plenty of room to grow. And now, as churches begin to emerge from COVID, it feels like an ideal moment to spend time looking at how we might foster a real culture of generous giving. Giving that enables sustainable finances. Giving that can truly resource a thriving Christian presence. This is not just about money, although the way we handle money will demonstrate where our hearts are. It's also about our whole approach, use of time, offers of hospitality, the open door. We have set aside four Sundays in the autumn to raise awareness and promote generous giving across the diocese and there is an open invitation for parishes to join in. However, if that timing doesn't quite work in your context, the resources and support are available for you to use as and when you are able. We know that transforming giving and generosity is key to achieving the mission of the local church. Your generous giving pays for parish ministry via the parish share pays to heat, light and ensure the building and to keep it in a good state of repair. Generous giving can also fund all the important missional opportunities in our communities that are just sitting there waiting for us to start. We hope the Generous Giving campaign will give you the best possible start. It's all about equipping and inspiring you to encourage a culture of sustainable generous giving in your local church and community. And when it comes to preparing, there is a generous giving toolkit, and if you haven't used it already, it's worth taking a look. We are developing a range of adaptable and engaging resources, and we've split them up into resources that can help you prepare and resources that can inspire and sustain generous giving. And we've launched a series of webinars, starting with the different giving mechanisms available to you. We are also offering a planning session a reflective session that explores the theology of generosity and even a chance to gain tips for delivering the key messages around giving. 
and there will be a range of liturgical resources, including slides for use in a service and some templates for communications around generous giving, which will be available for church leaders to share. Then to inspire sustainable giving with your congregations during the campaign, there will be both video sermons from the bishops and a generous giving video. Alongside this, we are publishing a little generous giving booklet that can be offered to congregations and wider community members. This A6 booklet will be packed with a week-by-week -week activity guide for churchgoers to do as individuals, as a family or as a church. And in helpful time slots too, five minutes for those who are busy and up to an hour for those who want to spend more time thinking and praying about their giving. These resources are offered to equip and empower you. Through them and the support that surrounds them, we want to help you encourage a culture of generous and sustainable giving so that you can pursue your vision for the ministry and mission of your local church while meeting your shared commitment to the diocese. Working together, we can promote a thriving Christian presence. Church is a place where we give and we are generous because that's part of our Christian ministry that all of us are, are living out. If my hands are like this, it's very difficult for anybody to give me anything. But if my hands are like that, not only can I receive from God, but also I can give to other people. You can find out more by visiting our website and going to this area. There you will find links to all the available resources and keep checking as we will be adding more. By the end of June, there will be a link to new material explaining just how share is calculated, how it pays the parish ministry and our common life together. Thank you for watching this presentation. We really appreciate all you're doing to promote generous giving in your context and we don't underestimate the pressures faced by many in these difficult times.